Hello friends, welcome to Oracle new feature video series. So this video is a continuation of the video number 7 in which I have explained about the enhancements done in with class from Oracle 12.1. In fact prior to 12.1 as part of the with class we will be able to use only the select statement. However from 12.1 we will be able to write a function even a procedure as part of the with class and that function we can directly use as part of the select statement. Though procedure we will not be able to use directly as part of the select statement, that particular procedure we can call through a function. So all these examples I have explained clearly in the video number 7. So this video is a continuation of that and in this video I just want to cover one small additional information as part of the with class. So here is a very simple example you can see as part of the with class I have written one function it is just going to take a number as an input it is going to return whatever the value you are passing as an input to the power of 3. Suppose if you are passing 10 as an input, it will return 10 to the power of 3. So here this would be our output. So what we are going to learn in this video is whenever we are going to use the whole statement which contains a with class as a subquery or whenever we are going to use the statement which is having a with class as part of a DML statement, we will get an error. So that's what we are going to see and how to resolve that particular error is also we are going to see. Suppose uh, I'm just taking the same example and I just added one connect by class so that we will be able to compute the or we will be able to call this function for multiple values. So I'm just passing values from 1 to 10 and I'm just computing the value to the power of 3 and I'm just printing it here. Let us see the first example. Suppose if I'm going to use the whole with class statement as a subquery. The entire statement if I am going to use as a subquery like this then we will get an error. So this is the first thing. Very similar to that suppose if I want to insert all the output whatever the information this with class query is going to return I just want to insert into another table. Generally we will write a query like this insert into a target table followed by whatever the query we just want to insert the values into. So in this case also we will get an error. So one key thing is that whenever we are going to use a with class then the with class should be the top level class of the query. That means the query should start with the with class only. In case if you are using a with class as part of your query and if the with class is not going to be your top class then you will get these errors. To resolve such error there is a hint called with underscore PL SQL so that we need to use. So first let us see the select statement. Whenever you are using the query as a subquery and if the top level select statement is not a with class then we need to use a with underscore PL SQL then this will work. Very similar to that whenever we are using as part of the insert statement you need to mention that with underscore PL SQL either insert update or delete then we need to use a, the with underscore PL SQL hint. One key thing here is that this with underscore PL SQL is not an optimizer hint. See many times we will be using the hint to enforce the optimizer to change the way the query should get executed from the performance point of view. But this is not a performance oriented hint instead it instructs the compiler saying that this query is having a with class but it is not a top level with class it is going to be part of your query itself. Now let me execute and show you these examples. So here is our actual uh, query. So what I have done is I have just written a with class function and that particular function I am just using as part of the main select statement. So here is a slightly modified version of the same query. I just added the connect by uh, class here just to get uh, the uh, multiple rows so that we'll, we can call the same function again and again. Suppose if we want to make this as an inner query so then what we can say let's say select star from so let me just make the entire thing as a inner query. Okay, so let me close it here. So now when you execute this, you will get an error saying that SQL statement not properly ended. So to make it work, you just need to say the hint called with underscore PL SQL. So now let me just re-execute the statement. Now you can see the query got successfully executed. So this we need to follow whenever there is a with class and that is used as part of some subqueries. Fine. 
So now let us see one more example that is using this as part of the uh, DML statement. So let me create a table to insert all this information. So let's say table T1. So two columns I need one for number, let's say n number and one for uh, another value that is whatever to the power. So let me say P and number. So I have I'm creating the table with two columns. So now let me say insert into T1 followed by the rest of the statement. So I'm just selecting. So now you will get an error actually here. So now what we can do is, so instead what I'm going to say, I'm going to say with underscore PL SQL hint. So let me select and execute it now. Now you can see 10 rows got inserted. So here is a snippet from Oracle documentation. If the query in which you specify this class, so this class refers to the with class, is not a top level select statement, then the following rules are applied. The first thing is, if the top level is a select statement, then it must have either a with class, otherwise it should have a with underscore PL SQL hint. Either the starting should be a with class. If it is not a with class, suppose if you are going to use that in your subquery, then you should use the with underscore PL SQL hint. Second rule is if the top level statement is a DML statement that is delete, merge, insert or update statement, then it must have the with underscore PL SQL hint. If you have learned something new, please like this video, subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video, interview question, SQL practical question and concept videos. If you want any questions to be answered, you can post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail ID. I'll be happy to record and post as a new video. Thanks a lot for watching this video.